I did this video. I did this video where I did a random walk in one dimension. I used that to find the value of pi, and this is the graph that I got. And so then you need to find the slope of this line. And I did this in WebVPython, and there's a problem. And the problem is that in WebVPython, we don't have uh, a least squares fit that can just take that data and give you the slope. And that's what I need. I need to get the slope. So I'm going to build that. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple things. I'm going to first show you what a least squares fit means. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to do it in real Python. And then we're going to build the function in WebVPython so that we can use it in the future. Okay, so let's look at real uh, the what a least squares fit is. So I, this is a, a blog post I wrote on Medium. So if you don't have Medium, I don't think you can access it. But maybe I'll, I'll turn off the paywall so you can see it. Um, and where I go through and I, I describe the what a least squares fit is. So imagine that I have these data points right here. Let me make this, let's make this a little bit bigger. That's a little bit bigger. So imagine that I have these data points right here and I want to find a best fit line. One of the things that we can do is to uh, measure uh, or calculate some line such that the, the least the square difference, so I can take this value versus the vertical difference from the line that I picked for all these lines, and then I want to minimize that. And the math gets a little rah, rah, uh, to derive this, but this is what we do when you find a, a linear regression in Excel or a spreadsheet or Python, and so we need to rebuild this. Let's just jump ahead a little bit. So down here, that's a plot of the least squares. This is how we find the coefficients uh, b, which is the slope, and a, the intercept. Yeah, that's right. And so let's just go over this equation because this is what we need to do in Python. I'm going to do this, but I'm going to need to show you uh, what it is in uh, real Python first so we know what, what to expect. So if, you just, if I have a list of x and y values, uh, xi is the <laughs> ith element of x, yi is the yth element of y. And so this just goes through and takes the x's and multiplies them to, with the y and then sums them. n is the total number of items. This sums up all the x's, sums up all the y's. This sums up all the x squareds. Uh, and then we can use all that to find the slope and then use that slope to find the intercept. That's what we need to do. Let's jump over and I'm going to show you how to do this in real Python. Okay, so I made up some fake numbers just so we could try it. And I'm this is Google Colab. If you aren't familiar with Google Colab, uh, it's, uh, it's a Jupyter notebook that's free online. You can just log in with your Google account. It's pretty awesome. And so I have some data here, uh, but I want to make them as an array, and then I can pass them to this thing called Polyfit. Okay, and I think I know how to do this. I forget, and I've made a video on this before. So let's just go up here. The first thing we need to do, let's, let's plot these. But to do that, I need to import two things. Um, let's see. Let's put this down here. And then do uh, import numpy as mp. Import, that's not big enough. Import mat plot lib dot pi plot. Actually, I'm not even think I'm going to, I'm not even going to plot this. I don't need that. I'm, I only need that. I just want to find the slope. You can do whatever you want with that afterwards. So I'm just going to import that. And then I want to make these as arrays, nump arrays. So this is np array. And then there's my list of values. And this is also np array. And I'm going to use those same values in Python, np array. And then I always question myself. So let's just print x and y and see if this works. Okay. So it's working. Now I can find the least squares fit using polyfit. np.polyfit. I give it my x value, my y value, and then my order, because this will do any number of polynomials. I could do a, a quadratic fit and all that stuff. I don't want that. I want the first order, which is a line. And then let's just print that. Let's just print. No, no, let's do this. m comma b equals. And then let's print m comma b. I think this will work. There. Okay. So there's my slope, 2.42. There's my intercept, negative 0.5. So now when we do that in Python, we want to get the same thing. Okay. Let's jump over to, to what I call real Python, which is WebVPython. Uh, and I have the same thing up here, right? So let me make this bigger, bigger. That's better. 
Um, so I have X as a list and Y as a list of values. And the first thing I want to do is just to plot this. So let's plot these data. They're the exact same numbers I used before. Uh, to go through a list in Python, there's a couple of ways. I like to do this for I in range, the length of X. So this will go through uh, I, 0, 1, 2, 3, for as many numbers as there are in the length of, of X, which is 5. So it goes from 0 to 4. Uh, and then I'm just going to plot data points. F1.plot. Uh, my X value is XI, which looks nice. It looks just like the thing, right? It looks just like the XI, YI. And that's it. Let's see if that works. No, I, I did shift enter because I was just in WebVPython. There you go. Okay. So there's my Y, X, same thing. Great. Now what we want to do is to start building up these values, right? I want to, I want to do it just once and then I'll make it as a function. So I need a couple things. Let's look over here. I need N. I need this X, Y sum. I need X sum. I need Y sum. I need X squared sum. So let's, let's calculate all those things. Let's make names for all those. Uh, going back over here. So let's see, n, that's easy. It's just the length of x or y. They're the same. And then let's, I'm going to go through and sum up these things. So I'm going to call the first one xy is the sum of x times y. xs is the sum of x. I can't call it x, right? Because I've already used x. So that's 0. Uh, y sum is 0. And then I had x squared is 0. So I'm gonna, these are terms when I go through the list, I'm going to calculate stuff and add it to this. But I need stuff to start with. So let's do that now. For i in range length of x. So xy, how do I calculate xy? xy is going to be equal to xy plus xi times yi. Right. So this xi, yi is the term. And then I'm going to add it to my total, which I'm calling xy. Does that make sense? x sum is going to be x sum plus xi. No, no, xi. y sum, you can't see that, is equal to y sum plus yi. And then x squared, I'm calling it x2, not x min 2, it's x2. x2 plus xi squared. And that's it. I should have them all. Now I can go ahead and calculate B. B, what was it equal to? N XY minus XY. So this is going to be N times XY minus X sum times Y sum divided by, and it's amazing I can't memorize that formula, N X squared minus X squared. divided by n times x2 minus xi squared. Is that right? n x squared, the sum of x squared. Yeah. OK. So let's print that and see if we get the same thing. We already know what the answer should be. So we can just run it. OK. Point 0.2. That's not right. Where did I make my mistake? Oh, what did I do? I did times x. That's right. This is, oh, that was dumb. x sum. You should have caught that. That was on you. 2.42, that's the same thing we got in real Python. So that's good. Now we can calculate A. So A, because A depends on B. So A is equal to, can't remember the equation. It's going to be Y minus BX over N. Let's see if I can memorize that. Y sum minus B times X sum divided by N. Print A. Got it. OK, now we're going to turn this into a function. This function in Python is going to take two lists and return uh, the slope and the intercept. So let's make that function. So all of this stuff right here, I don't need this right here. So let's go ahead and def, uh, what do we call it? Let's call it polyfit. 
just be fun, polyfit, polyfit one. And I'm gonna give it an X and a Y. I'm gonna call it XT for temp and YT for temp. And let's put a note here. This takes two lists of the same size, returns uh, M slope and B intercept. See, now when I go back to this 10 years from now, I'll say, oh, look, I made a comment. Okay, so all this stuff I need to indent because it's part of my function. And now let's change it up. So here I don't have X, I have XT. That's fine, 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 fine. Uh, this is XT. This is YT, XT, XT, YT, XT. Um, B, that's fine, all that's fine. I don't want to print this, that's awkward. And that's fine, I don't want to print A. I don't want to return B and A. So now it's a function, so let's try that. Poly fit one, no one. I'm gonna give it my X and my Y, uh, and let's set that equal to uh, M comma B equals. And see if that works, I think that works. And then I can print M and B. I think this works, I'm not 100% sure. Boom, okay. So now whenever I need to do linear regression, I can just copy this code. I can copy this function right here. So I'm gonna do that, copy this whole thing right there. And I'm gonna go back to my random pi. So in this pi, I have, I'm, I had the average distance was two n over pi, square root of two n over pi. So um, this is d squared, versus the number of steps. So the slope would be two over pi. That's why I calc this calc two over pi, I calculated it. And I did it by just looking at that final thing. So actually I changed this code a little bit. I was doing 500 uh, runs for each of these average. I moved it down to hundred just to make it uh, better, but it doesn't really matter. So let's go back to the code up here at the top. I have, I'm gonna add my function. I'll just put it right here. Nope, not find, don't do that. Paste there. So polyfit. Now down here at the end, um, let's just say uh, m comma b equals polyfit one. Oh, I didn't, I need to add in a list, right? I need to build a list. So let's go up here and Oh, right here. So right here, I'm plotting in and and the average distance. So let's call this uh, x, it's an empty list, y, it's an empty list. And so I'm gonna add in here, um, which I'm doing it twice, which is stupid. Actually, I'll do it, let's do it first. Um, let's say x equals n, that's easy. And then x t t equals this thing, I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna cut it. And so that function can take a while to run, so I don't wanna run it more than once. So I'm just gonna run it once and call it XTT, and then I'm gonna plot XTT, and then I'm gonna add it to my list. Oh, X, no, that should be YTT. Y, and this should be X equals X plus N, so it's a list, and then Y, equals y plus ytt. All right, so now I'm gonna have a list x, I'm gonna have a list y, and I can use that in my function down here, x and y. And let's print mb. I think it should work. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be, be a little disappointed, but. Okay, so it did it, but it got the slope of 0.267. Hmm. I should have tried this out beforehand. What's that 0 0.552? 0 0.60267. That can't be right. Maybe I did it backwards. X should be in steps and Y should be the average distance squared. X is in. Oh, YTT is that? Y, that's fine. Um, 
Hmm. Let's plot this for i in, I need another, let's make another function up here. It worked before we saw, you saw that. Uh, F2 equals g dots, color equals color dot red. And then down here, I'm gonna plot those. For i in range, that's not big enough. Range length of x, f2 dot plot, uh, xi, yi. So it should be right on top of the other data because it's the same data. I'm just replotting it just to make sure it works. Okay, so it's the same data. Why is it giving me a different number though? Hmm. Print MB polyfit XY. Calc 2 over pi. Okay, let's do this. Let's assume that's right. And so what I'm going to do is to plot a line um, using that data. So let's go up here and change this to G curve. I'm going to plot the best fit line. And to do that, I need two data points. So I'm going to make, uh, I can just do this right here. Uh, F1, F2 dot plot, the X value is going to be z zero, zero, right? Because if I put in N equals zero, oh no, I don't. It's going to be zero. And then Y is uh, B, M times X plus B. So I still get B, so it should be B. And then my last point, I'm doing how many how many data points? N max is 300. So F2 dot plot uh, N max, that number. And then I'm going to put in N max into my, in, is times the slope plus B. So it's going to be uh, M times N max plus B. So I have two data points, enough to make a line. And let's see what happens with that line. If this works, then that's good. Okay, so it did work. It did work. I think that's just two, two divided by pi. Something weird is going on there, but that, that works, right? It fits the data. I don't, I don't know what that stuff is. I, w I was right the whole time. Okay. Yay. So now I have least squares in WebV Python. Can use them whenever I want. You can use them whenever I want. I'm going to put a link to the code down below. You can copy and paste it and have a lot of fun with that. And I'll talk to you later. Where's the stop button? There it is.